With the increase in meditourism and the industry as a whole, Indian healthcare is expected to grow. Our next speaker helms one of the market leading brands in this sector and she is here to speak to us. Please welcome the Vice Chairperson of Apollo Hospitals, Srimati Preeta Reddy. Honorable Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, the Honorable Ministers of the Andhra Pradesh Cabinet, Senior Bureaucrats and the Chief Secretary of the Andhra Pradesh Cab Cabinet, uh, Captains and Nation Builders of our wonderful country, it's an honor to be here with all of you today. The theme of the conference which says where abundance meets prosperity seems perfect from what we've seen, but I would like to add one more word to it, which is good health, because with good health comes prosperity and abundance, and I stand here in front of you as a daughter of the son of, a, of the soil, uh, Dr. Pratap C. Reddy, the chairman of Apollo Hospitals, who really was the architect of modern healthcare in India. This state has done a lot, especially for the downtrodden and for people seeking good health, starting from Arogya Shri, which was, which was the brainchild of um, our Honorable Chief Minister's father, and now is a model not only in the other states of the country, but throughout the globe. In fact, the African countries have also taken up their own form of Arogya Shri. And sir, I would like to congratulate you for being able to give health care to a vast cross-section of society. The other brainchild, which I think all of us in the healthcare sector are ex extremely excited about, is the vision to have high-quality hospitals in a public-private part, uh, participation mode in every district of Andhra Pradesh. We have done a very successful model in Chittur, where we all come from, and I think this is being scaled up and rolled out throughout the country. And for that, I think we should again say that the state of Andhra Pradesh has really put us on the nation's map. We work together to, do, to see how we can to reduce the onset of disease throughout the state and in the country. And for that, I think we're using digital models, telemedicine, and different tools to see how can we propagate the idea of good health and, uh, and intensify the work which is being done. Uh, we've done this as a model in Chittur, and now we are doing it actually along with the Adani family at the Krishnapatnam port, and we'd like to be able to do this again throughout the state. Uh, as an example, when Ford came to uh, South India to establish their factory, it was a healthcare which made them take a decision to come to that state. And now with all the industries coming into Andhra Pradesh, I think we would be very proud to be their healthcare partner. And finally, before I conclude, we have a magnificent university campus, and as a family of Andhra Pradesh, we are putting aside 500 crores towards a state-of-the-art innovation center which will take up artificial intelligence, machine learning, and more than anything else, work with research centers globally to bring accessible, affordable, and high-end medicine, including genetic mapping, into this country, into this state more than anything else, in our wonderful campus at Chittur. Thank you so much, sir, for the opportunity, uh, for the encouragement, and I promise that uh, we as a family will always be together with you in the government to see that the state gets access to the best and the highest quality of health care. Thank you and namaste. Thank you, ma'am, Preeta Reddiji. Ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned earlier, Andhra Pradesh is the only state to have three industrial corridors with best-in-class infrastructure and industrial parks. 